another morning again inside the yard. Plenty of things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what we are today. But this be small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wall and we had, I just go to the kitchen and check my coolness. Yes, coolness. Some man really left for it in the morning. Some people say they just like when they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or plasas where they like pass all. So, na that make we they bring to you this program where we call Colres, as we they look at different story them na the front page and inside the newspaper. So, not forget to join we 8 a.m. salon time from Monday to Friday, both Facebook and YouTube. Usa we go bring to na different guests them where they can help for talk about the newspaper. We are we are the channel, channel, for, the channel for the people, for the, the, the voice, food. the voice of the voiceless. Another morning again inside we had plenty of things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what we are here today. But this is small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wall and we had, I just go to the kitchen and check my coolness. Yes, coolness. Some man really like for it in the morning. Some people say they just like when they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or plasas where they like pass all. So, now that make we they bring to you this program where we call Colres, as we they look at different story them na the front page and inside the newspaper. So, not forget to join we 8 a.m. salon time from Monday to Friday, both Facebook and YouTube. Usa we go bring to na different guests them where they can help for talk about the newspaper. We are, we are, the, we are, channel, for the, channel, people, for the, the, the voice, the voice of the voiceless. <laughs> Another morning again inside we had plenty of things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what we are here today. But this is small. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to another beautiful edition of a program where we call Cool Yes, of course. Kept the cow right now. The guests they inside the kitchen, they power one more the cool yes for we better, better one. All of the things that we get for day inside the door ready for you inside the program this morning. Well, first of all, what we go do, we go try for see waiting and waiting day inside. The different um, ingredients the way they inside the colleagues this morning and first we could can look at one more time. Good morning, my name is Sembe the Freedom Fighter, and this type program colleagues on the yard na YouTube and on Facebook. Well, like always, we could start with the first pick them inside the program this morning, and of course, we will start with the first one this morning when at the Independent Observer newspaper where say Dr. Samura Kamara has no case at COI. At the Macaulay Esquire, and in the court, and then you get government commits to debate, so um, to debt transparency and management. Um, then you get ban ICTD host tax for development conference. This is another story there for you inside the Independent Observer newspaper. And then the next paper where we get this morning inside the program, we get the cleaner. Oh. Yes, the cleaner say, and um, as the link president bio with CTC dubious mining deal, who is Tariq Maki? This is a big question. And then US ambassador support um, community based projects throughout Sierra Leone. ICTD all two days conference on improving tax policy. This and other story there for inside the cleaner newspaper. And the next paper for this morning at the Global Times newspaper. We say fake Indian pastor exposed. And then you get education bumper harvest. You get President Bio receives new scrutinized and uh, securitized passport. And then Troy Trump awards scholarship. This and other story there for you inside 
the Global Times newspaper. The next one for this morning, now the Modern Series. Modern Series gets $100 million World Bank grant to strengthen transparency in public finance. And you get Human Rights Commission Sierra Leone concludes public hearing in the conduct of law enforcement officials and government commits to debt transparency and management. This and other story there for you inside the Modern Series newspaper. The next pick now the Salon Compass. Salon Compass gets ex President Koma Excel in Nigeria. You get a picture of a um, um, former uh, president and then you get a drunken pilot. You get the picture of President Bio and leadership and business excellence. You get UBA receives two awards and China's st steady economic growth brings broad um, prospects for Sino Salon Corporation. This another story there for you inside the compass, the Salon Compass newspaper. And the next paper for this morning, the next paper for this morning at the Concord Times newspaper, Concord Times newspaper say President Bill confirms Sierra Leonean citizenship on 109 African Americans. You get um, a UBA Proud recipient of two awards for leadership and business excellence. And you get Slink Car, Slink Sir holds two second workshop on development strategy of NAP. And you get um, COP15 kicks off as alarm grows over um, falling wildlife population. Professor Alpha Wuri apologized to Milti Magai, Vice Chancellor. This and other story there for you inside the Concord Times newspaper. And the next paper for this morning, now the Freedom Post. The Freedom Post newspaper says Sky Bank manager, murder trial, Sina was brought in dead. Nurse testifies. And then you get UBA Bank's two awards on leadership and business excellence. You get ECSL violate electoral law. This and other story there for you inside the Freedom Post for this morning. And the next pick for this morning inside the program, now the Aoko newspaper. The Aoko newspaper say security guard not testify in bank manager's alleged mother. And you get extended credit facility sixth review by IM, IMF ongoing. This is another story there for you. So there you get domestic revenue generation is very critical. NRA commissioner. Uh, general, there you get 267 pupils receive 190,000 new loans try trans scholarship. This is another story there for you inside the Aoko newspaper for this morning. Well, this is not the different ingredients that we get inside the colleges for this particular morning. Well, like always, after we don't get the different ingredients, then we can as well get the person where they in charge of the colleges. Where they serve with the different, different, uh, give me the different plates them inside the program this morning. Well, of course, this person not a new person, and of course, now person this way they coordinate over 50 radio stations them now the country now uh, uh, against a non-governmental organization where they operate and in name now Theophilos Sir Benda. Welcome to the program this morning, sir. All right, I think you line mute. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. I can see, I can see how, how you did. You did drive right now. <laughs> drive yeah. safely, yeah? <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. I have, I have my driver who is controlling oh, okay. the wheel. Great, great, great. <laughs> driver, professional driver, good morning. Okay. So let me let me start. We don't get a different ingredient them. I want to start with the first you know headline that we put inside the program this morning. And of course, we get no case for Samura Kamara in the C at the COI. This one, what did this mean in terms of we don't need to see over um and the former president and by Koma and 30 other one them they face them for, for the, the risk for lost them property to this particular government and then the issue of Samoa Kamara come up, no case for him um, the COI. What did this mean for in political career? Well, um, from all indications, 
it was clear from the onset um, during the tenure of Samara to do that transaction. How I think I think the, 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 the line they go they go and come the line they go and come you uh, voice the scramble. Uh, no, no. So like I'm, I'm, how many minutes you day off to your office? Because we we we, we, we get a difficult in terms of you um, the line. What about if we try WhatsApp? Lot try the WhatsApp. Yeah, this. Honestly, we know I'm not hearing you waiting you the time for say. But if we can try the WhatsApp, just give me thumbs up if you want to try the WhatsApp. Okay, okay. So let we go. Just leave the meeting and let we get uh, the 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 WhatsApp for you ready. Okay, I'm very sorry. We've been defending very difficult here for get time in um, the connection. I think we, because it, it moved from uh, one place to another um, and it's still one for be part of the program this morning. So the line is scramble and uh, through we zoom line. So we we'll try for get them now. Yes, of course. Um, yeah, so just very well. Correct. Correct. You know, correct, man. <laughs> Correct. So, you get me now? Okay. You get me? Oh my god, I think the line, the line, the line still the get problem. The line still get problem. It, it, it is still crack. It's still a crack. Anyway, now we'll now take this short break. We come back. Jeez, no. Jeez, no. <laughs> Another morning again is I we had. Plenty of things tend to happen. I wonder how sneeze again what we are here today. But this is small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wall and we had, I'll just go to the kitchen and check my cool rest. Yes, cool rest. Some man really like for eat in the morning. Some people say they just like what they eat down. Oh yes, plenty organization don't come and go, but this one come for stay because in M, not the heartbeat of God for help the poor and needy. It's the Sidra Women's Organization. Sidra Women Organization. All right, um, welcome back, welcome back. We don't try to forget them. I think um, it gets me now clear. You get me now clear, sir, right? Loud and clear. Very well, correct. So now, look, I'll be just to ask you a question of what this mean for Samuel Kamara in political career? Because we see the former president and 30 other one them, they risk them for lose their property to this government. Okay, okay. Um, um, Samuel, Samuel Kamara in them they among the one that were for lose their property? No. No, okay, fine. All right, so um, about the court matter, when others say there's no case against him, they were just, it, it was like a waste of time. Because as far as the records, the show, Samuel Kamara, not in tenure, where they passed that money for the chance to build it. Well, I'm well, waiting at basically this one about the COI. Basically, the case say, um, inside the COI, Usa, you get other people away for lost their property. In your case, not there at all. Yeah. In not get case, not that see your idea at all. Now, in basically, yeah, what sure. you get for me before we come to the chance because the chance he own still ongoing. But this one with regards to the COI, we in name not there at all with regards okay. to corruption business. Well, um, I, I will say he, he's a lucky man. <laughs> I will only say he's a lucky man. I will only say he's a lucky man because the indication is that. Um, all the ones that will be there in the past regime, one way or the other, be involved in some kind of 
of of financial impropriety. One way or the other, because even even Samura Kamara in name may come up and the um, um and from the deal, what we got to do with Sierra Hotel. But of course, uh, according to, to Samuel Kamara, he was just working under instruction. So, so um, for say, I'm going to say he, he, he must be a lucky man. Taking into consideration all the fanfare around the matter and all of that. So, I do the count on the vehicle now for okay. going somewhere. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, so um, we've basically been the time for talk um, about the um, case, COI case with Samuel Kamara. We then say, of course, he not get any case for answer. And we guess the time for analyze this particular issue. But of course, because in the time for, 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 for set to find one, you know, you be see the line when they get some e cops with the line. But now, because of he want to talk to you as a family member, and actually they rush for going to your office, yes. go get himself and set to proper proper one. So it will really compose for past analysis over to you for let you understand what exactly they happen. This is the program we are on YouTube, of course. This is not Korea's now we are on YouTube and on Facebook. We still go on with we challenge. Yes, we challenge still day on. We now for reach 100,000 subscribers for meet up this um December in ending. As we talk right now, we get 60. Um, let me just see, we get over 62,000 subscribers. Then where we can say family members, well, the challenge still day on, and we want you for help we for support for let we actually reach this particular figure. As we talk, so we get 62,098 subscribers on YouTube, and of course, on Facebook, we get more than 32,000 followers. Then we actually the um, watch we now with different different um, platform. So please, for you who are not subscribed yet, consider for subscribe now. And uh, so we will actually, you know, reach that target of 100,000 for meet up the end of the December. And don't forget, we get a challenge for each for for um, um, you know generate 5,000. The channel in bad day, um, the, it will be bad day by Bure. And of course, I want for use this opportunity again for say happy birthday in advance to the producer of this program, when Elias Abad, the 21st. Of this month gonna make um, a very special day in life. So please, we get a challenge. We get a challenge. Yes, of course, we want for each um, one hundred thousand. But we get five thousand dollars where we actually they try for generate for this December. So not forget for be part of that particular um, um, generation deal. We move. Yes, thank you very much. I see you don't know, get this morning. We not a part of your work for just for making you talk to people. Then. So welcome back. We're gonna talk about Samura. Okay. Well, yes, of course. So, like I say, uh, my position is that he must be a lucky man because um, the perception was that all the ones that we deserve in the Anes Bankuma administration, you know, one way or the other, they involved in some kind of financial impropriety. And so, therefore, they were all already guilty. But we never say amongst the lots, there are so many names them where when when where actually should say they were not involved in anything like Malek Pet. Okay, this is a program we are um um of course the program right now na um cool yes of course the rest look cool small this morning it look cool small because of the network um challenge where we actually the face with Right, right now. But when we stand in, we go overcome the challenge because this is not just the network and it is beyond we own control. We're not going for controller. Somebody be asked me the other day, waiting for do now with regards to this network, nothing only for do. We don't get anything for do actually. Actually, we don't get anything for do with regards to that one day. The only thing we can try for do now for make sure say we fight the network, we fight back the network. So this is not the only thing we we actually need for do. This type program we are on youtube and on facebook so please 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 um be part of the show as we wait for connect we guest again
Oh yes, plenty organization don't come and go, but this one can for stay because in M, not the heartbeat of God for help the poor and needy. It's the Sidra Women's Organization. Sidra Women Organization. Thank God for everything for one the Sidra Women's Organization will be launched officially on Saturday, the 7th of January, 2023. This historic event go on for inside Makinitong, West Nada SLTU Hall. The time now 10 o'clock now morning. As the main aim of this organization, now for help the poor and needy, the Sidra Women's Organization would like for extend invitation to all sorry art organizations. Especially other sister women's organization for can witness this colorful ceremony. I say we making it fumble them. Let we not forget all oh, the date again. Now Saturday, January 7, 2023, 10 o'clock now morning. And the place now the great SLTU Hall, McKinney Town. This organization is sponsored by a daughter of the swell based in the United States of America, Madam Sidra to Aminata Kamara. The Sidra Women's Organization helping the poor and needy is our passion. Is our passion. They come for do their best to the poor, east, west, south, the best of the north. United States of America. It is dedicated this song to one of the biggest organizations from Madam Sidra to Aminata Kamara from the United States of America. It is dedicated this song to one of the biggest organizations at the world. We had. Yeah. So love it all and fine, this now we had Talk and now we land, so love it all and fine yeah. Who's a, who know they back kapu kapu We had no big spark, kamu kamu We know yeah. they back kapu kapu We had no big spark, kamu kamu Who tell the brother, sister, them say We had no kamu oh, 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 oh. We had now we are Tell them for we, tell them for me say We had no kamu oh, 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 oh. Respect to the one who will make we are team up strong, strong one. Especially to you, by Bure Kablai from the north. And to you, Shenge Pierre from the south. And me, Amina, happy birthday in advance to you, by Bure Kablai from the north. You celebrate the birthday January. Happy birthday in advance to you, Shenge Pierre from the south. You celebrate the birthday December. This organization, the three years, December 2022. We they tell who members them all over the world, thank you. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're very sorry. Welcome back. 
this I program um cool yes yes today the, the challenge now with the network okay so i think we go we go move away from that particular issue today basically we want to look at we still get one case of samuel kamara way get for doing the chance rebuilding we still go on even though we get lots of you know people that we don't can testify in fact anti-corruption commission we don't use some of the people that we suppose for bmd the I don't know how for call them. Some of the people they were supposed for all accountable, we don't make them as witness. But now they will say that the way anti corruption be not used. Other people don't begin to testify, and now the evidence they point to them people and the way anti corruption be not used as evidence as a you know um, 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 a witness. So now this is not the case. Then just the black food, black food, but all of the nearly all of the evidence that will come up, the point or the type for you know, remove Samoa Kamara out of the picture. What did this mean? How this go get for me? What did this go get for me for the credibility of the um, um, ACC? Because the one way blow the on when an African is press, ACC be the hold them out totally say they're not to the whistle blow up. Of course, now that the president's be on in the, the complainant in this matter, all of this thing. What did this go mean for the credibility of ACC? Yes, so just like what we talked the last time, we say the SEC is in a very um, sorrowful state. Sorrowful state in the sense that, uh, much as they are doing well in terms of international rating, but on the ground, on the ground, the SEC is nothing good to write home about when it comes to dealing with critical issues. When, even from the ordinary man in point of view, in clear cases, of outright corruption. And this whistleblower thing where you talk about, that thing where the long politicized over the years. You know, so the SEC they rely on information from the public. Yes. But most times when they receive information from the public, then they try for 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 then they try for look at the person when deliver the information and then play the worthiness of the information. Now this is the situation where the ACC find itself, where we plenty of other people, when they get credible information for passed on to the ACC, then they say it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Why do I need to waste my time to give this information to the ACC, where at the end of the day, they will not treat it with the seriousness concern. So this is a slap on the face of the ACC, its commissioner and all the personnel they were there for say they have not treated the fights against corruption with the seriousness where it deserves because they allow political uh, um, uh, um, consideration for control. What did happen in terms of which case to pursue and which case not to pursue? And if there's already a segregation in handling cases that it means the whole fight against corruption has been compromised because not to, in fact this na, not a secret say that the african express name blow this um, whistle with regards to this chance building but then all these particular cases with to and because it get for do with somebody from the opposition but not only the only case this where african express don't they go don't they blow whistle yeah. man a blow whistle by, yeah. the, by the first lady, then just dash and just like that. Then yeah. blow whistle by a lot of things. In fact, all of the cases the way then they blow whistle palm, then they come and tell me, say, no, African Express, in fact, nothing then this way, they inside the audit report, they don't handle that. But they totally they give blind high to the report of the African Express because they feel, say, it is challenge them on different issues. Then. You're right. You're right. You're right. And that is what makes the fight very unfortunate. And the fight against corruption don't lost in focus under the Francis Ben Kafala in administration. It was the same under the APC. We see a lot of cases there where they've been supposed for, for push. The SEC not be able to take on the issues and they properly. So it's now happening. It's even worse now under the current dispensation. It's, it has gone far worse. So, so it what, has gone what far worse. say about this? Now, we see this BNTM African Express again pull video of the chance he really explained. But even yeah. when this case didn't occur so right now, we see the government say then they pay for people then, wait for left from Sierra Leone, for going to America, 
for go look at this thing and find out about lots of things then then they return back this is not a waste of uh, um, resources and me we get this same chance we building we get people them um, where the ambassador they they we get workers then they where Suppose for you present the government in terms of everything, but now then they pull bunch of people them inside the country, pay for them with real money, say then go investigate. What in this be born at the end of the day? So uh, that is the situation. Um, not just not just a way for waste more money because the facts are all out. The facts are out. It's easy to investigate this matter. Very easy for investigate this matter. In fact, it, it was even unfortunate that the police there were charged the matter to court or the SEC were charged the matter to court. They were not sure of the evidences because if you are sure about your evidence, you know, there's no and there's no evidence pointing at him. Why do you have to indict him? For instance, the, 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 the Samuel Kamara issue, right? Why do you have to indict him if you know there's no strong evidence? against him and the evidence the win case evidence without evidence why do you have to why do you have to do, do the wrong thing the facts are clear they have all the facts they have all the facts but they are untwisting the facts because like you say perhaps the young objective a different from the cause of justice and the cause of justice is what we are pursuing here who received the money how was the money spent? Was the money spent for the internet purpose? If not, what are the what is, who do we all responsible? So it's clear Ali Kaba was in court. It was difficult to have Ali Kaba in court, but, but eventually he turned up in court and he began give his own testimony. And for what the other people they talk, they say the money was transfer, it was during this administration so the facts are clear yeah because according to which we've been begin for see the most of the bulk of the money being transferred during this administration under ali kaba under nabila tunis but we find out say all of them people they are not to not to um i call them not to um part of the prosecute they, they're not to i don't know they're not a part of the one the way they prosecute rather they're not part of the witness and the one way we don't left office <laughs> How many years ago now he then the prosecute in all of this case? So yes, it can be. It can be it, it can be say if I, the people that are so much that they use as 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 witness, that's a good question for answer. But then they get a deal. Say, okay, if you go and testify, we will not press any charge against you. So they can always get a deal a day. Not that the person they will go testify. Sometimes they don't matter they go lie on the oath all. Sometimes people lie on the oath. You go to court, you swear to the Bible or the Quran, you lie back. Right? So but what's here, what's important is that the fact is the fact. Now when they say the end shall justify the means and that the truth shall always prevail. No matter what's not the manipulation, no matter what, the truth will always prevail. Because, hey, bro, if me not guilty of something, bro, I defect to the last degree for clear for claiming him. And one thing I've been so good about Samoa Kamara, where I admire, he gave in full cooperation to the court. He was always in court personally. He was always in court. So anytime where a case they come up, he they go to court personally. In other like other cases, there where somebody was okay. Let me lawyers they go represent me. No, he goes to court personally. So that was one good thing about him, and it is good that I mean, you know, the facts are coming even clearer, clearer. Okay, all right. The program now correct right on YouTube and on Facebook. The next issue while well, we look at quickly that the issue of Adrian Fisher justice. Um, it, okay. for yesterday, it will actually appear now the committee on appointment. You know, for the very first time, and today, if we go again this morning, ten o'clock, for approval from um, Parliament, not the will of Parliament. You know, now this man, then we don't appoint him, and he don't, he don't take up this responsibility for over one year. And they take up this job as a justice, you know, as High Court judge. But at the same time, Parliament not be approve him yet. So we find out say uh, during the interview, nothing like that one did not come up. 
and uh, the opposition they not say anything about that one day, especially when it gets to for do it. Um, this particular unapproved man, they handle main insensitive issues them in the country, but now they go for approval this morning. What do you make up of this particular issue? As far as me concerned, as far as me concerned, and as far as I'm waiting, I believe they follow up. Adrian Fisher is not, is not supposed to be a judge in this country. Why not for be a judge? Because he, uh, say he, don't, he don't practice for 21 years, where the, the, yes, the, the requirements are 10 years. I understand, I understand. But according to me, information, according to me, information, he's not, he's not legally, he's not legally supposed to practice in this country. He aware of that one day, but again, he gets an argument, so, say, so, he gets so, an argument, say, because now uh, call the government call and because in there for the government he gets right for do that one day according to law. Well, so that that is the situation. But as far as we know, he has no legitimacy to practice law in this country, right? And so imagine the government must judge. He don't sentence people them. He don't sentence people them. He don't preside over cases them. Look, APC. He don't hold APC to ransom completely. Illegally, because he was not he was not occupying a legal position as a judge because he was he didn't have any parliamentary approval. So it was illegitimate. It was illegitimate. He should in, in fact hey, and away why this country is not a serious country, but if this country if this country is a serious country, I mean you know, that would be the end of him. That would be the end of him. He will not even go close parliament. You see? So now that is the reason. Where can make always where where parties in power, they want to make sure they control parliament. Such a man should not go to the house of parliament. The man for calling himself, he's not supposed to be there. Why why has he been be, be, be serving as judge of the high courts? Why he not get no legitimacy? Yes, he not get no legitimacy. As a matter of fact, so but it's but a shame. This same legitimacy when we they talk about so. The parliament, where for example, we don't say a lot of things them, this government they implement some things them before ever, some laws them, some 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 agreements them before ever they go to the parliament for, for go approve. For example, the issue of the airports, they already don't sign the agreement before ever they go for approval. The issue of the terminal, they don't sign the agreement, don't give the contract before ever they go for approval. Now to Justice Fisher. Plenty of people they consider this for be slap in the face of parliament, but parliament not see this so instead then they pressing the, the, the all of them things they are already talk about so. Yes, I will put the blame, I will put the blame on the president. I will put the blame on the president because if one of us say Salon is bigger than him, he is just not just opportunity for let him be president and serve for it for 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 a term or two as the case may be but, but, but after that the president get advice as them where is supposed for advice i will blame the president for appointing i will blame the president for for appointing somebody when not get the, the, the legal standing and then the allow the person for uh, for serve because he's imposing any everything the true justice cannot the chief justice is protecting his office and he's a party man. The chief justice is a party man. Mm. So as far as he's concerned, anything whether in the best interest of the party, he already approves. As far as me concerned. So that is why, that is why we get to see him. Because what do you expect? Who's kind of advice you expect from the Attorney General? The Attorney General is SFPP. The Deputy Attorney General is SFPP. What do you expect of them? What good advice do you expect of them? As long as this thing is in the best interest of the SFP, it's already good. Let them go ahead. Let them lose their way. But it is, it is, it is a shame. It is a shame. Me, I don't appoint anybody with illegal standing. Flood. I will not. I will not. So I blame the president. And because there is so much sick of fancy around. There is so much sick of fancy around. And the judiciary, and the parliament, so much sick of fancy, as long as it's coming from the president, they want to say it's true. And it is, 
It is nothing good. They are not doing it in the best interest of the, of the country. They are doing it in their own interest. And it is a slap because they take out of office for put the interest of the country first above everything else. So it is criminal. It is criminal for them to misuse power just like that. Okay. Um, the program now, um, we are on YouTube and on Facebook and uh, this particular um, edition of, you know, Congress, when they talk about different issues them inside the people, we don't talk about Samuel Kamau, they say no get case with a COI, we just rub more on the issue of Adrian Fisher as it appeared before Parliament today for approval. Yes, well, we get lots, 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 lots of things them way we want for rub more inside the program today. And let me go to the next paper for this morning. And of course, we get this particular paper where they say the cleaner. The cleaner gets uh, uh, this big issue, say, who is Tariq Maki? Ask the link president, Bio with CTC dubious mining deal. You get idea about this? You don't do work beyond this extractive um, thing. You get any idea about this particular issue? So, you want to go fight again, please? Okay, so basically, this um, cleaner and this paper, or Gleaner, they basically talk about um, issue like um, this way say, as they linked President Bio with CTC dubious mining deal. Who is Tariq Maki? Okay, well, um, unfortunately, I don't, I don't have the details as contained in the newspaper publication. Okay, so let's so attempt to read a bit of this story. He right. say over the past weeks, uh, I, I hope I will get them very clear. Over the past weeks, uh, let me just see. Over the past week, the people of Mafoki and Marampa um, have rejected a dubious mining deal with that has um, um, unilaterally signed by the government of Sierra Leone and the CTC Mining Company owned by a mining mafia, you know, Fas um, Fasali Tarawali. Um, okay. Anyway, Isham, Isham Maki and former AFRC Jonta um, Tariq Maki. Tariq Maki is the um, unseen and in the all uh, dubious mining deal and he is uh, using his relationship with President Bio to rip off the people of Sierra Leone billions. It is um, surprising how Tariq become close to President Bio and the other top officials in the current SLPP um, dispensation when, in fact, Tariq was the one who came with the um, gun boats and other military equipment for the AFRC to kill the people of Sierra Leone. Tariq Maki was very um, popular in the whole AFRC saga and was the Lebanese uh, businessman who was um, um, coming with weapon for the mass killing of Sierra Leoneans? Continuing page, um, 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 inside page. So this, I think, you don't get an idea of what in this story uh, basically try for talk about. So um, um, there is a there is a story where I correctly the investigates what for do with this same Fasali Tarawali. Okay. In one day, Iwangren, three communists, three mining concessions, three or four mining concessions, they are in control right now. He is a guy, he's the new, he's the new Mosige Fadika. He's the new Mosige Fadika, but he is playing cool. He is playing very cool. He is playing very cunningly, cunningly. Right? And I know I know of concessions where they don't give Fasali and the allies. And those concessions, the one they will be concessions that they originally they were threatened for gonna cut right now. You remember the case we for do with SL mining, where they cancelled the license. Mm -hmm. 
They take the government to court, now the UK, mm -hmm. and they win the government. Mm -hmm. They win the government. Plenty, plenty money where the government for pay. Mm -hmm. The government they end up for go into a deal because the government not be able to pay the money. Mm -hmm. So they ask for a out of court an out of court settlement. So when they go settle this out of court, when they go to this out of court settlement, you find out say the company be emerge with the, the biggest share of whatever they come out that the Marapa mines. Mm -hmm. So this thing of going into bad deals is very, 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 very uh, 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 um, problematic. And I will not be surprised if the president in name will come up. Why? Even though, yeah. Why no surprise? I will not surprise because Fasali, for example, Fasali, I know, I am told, has a very good relationship with the president. And not just now, I mean, you know, um, Fasali, there is another guy, what they call Gento. Where he, Fasali, now they all at the same level. So that make even you can see Gento, the kind of money where Gento they play around with. It's a clear case of unexplained wealth. Unexplained wealth. Now, he wants to stand for being mayor of Freetown. He is using money as his campaign tool. And anybody who use money as a campaign tool is already not a good candidate for that position. Because if you are using money as your campaign tool, then why do you want to go to that office? So for me, I am very concerned about the way some people are, are, are being given the leverage to fleece the country or to serve as agents to serve as front for left foreigners that can flee the country. Okay. I am very surprised that the name of Tariq for that gunboat come up again. I'm very surprised see, that Madame Lugo and Madame Lugo have been doing this. I remember during the AFIC time when a particular gunboat will come inside with um, a, you know, alleged mercenary them, where we will see, for example, the Alpha Jet towards the out of the Cape where we bomb that particular boat today. So I wonder if like, this same person with the link with that particular boat today. So well, 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 I will not have the details on that. I just to go through what you read and what in the talk bottom in the story. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. If that is if that is the case, then I am very surprised that Mother Blue is targeting this kind of thing. Because he is the he is the man. He controls everything that happens in the mining sector. The Minister of Mines where they now he appoint him. And Timothy Kaba, he reports directly to the president. He takes instruction directly from the president. So therefore, anything he is doing, anything that is happening in the ministry of uh, now the mining sector is in the purview of the president. So, I mean, you know, and he gets the responsibility for protect the wealth of the nation. He makes a promise say it will can lock all the loopholes. One of those loopholes is in the mining sector. So if he is still allowing so much to go out, then it means uh, he lied to the people that he will close the, the loopholes. He lied. Okay. So let me look at the next paper. We know the Global Times newspaper. We say bumper, uh, education bumper harvest. This is the big banner headline with Global Times this paper they carry. And basically, they try to talk about the investment where the government they make with um, regards to 22% of the country in budget on this particular you know, education sector. So in other words, then they do bumper harvest in this particular thing. So then they invest now in this for make sure say they harvest at the end of the day, where they call human capital. Uh-huh. So, 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 this is not a real harvest. Okay. Here. Oh, human capital. Mm -hmm. Human capital is something um, when a very broad, it's, it's a very broad phase. We've heard about human capital building for a long time, but we are still waiting to see the effects of that. You know, we are still waiting to see the effect of that. We still never say uh, the minimum power 
is very much strangulated. Uh, we also know for say uh, the potential for let people to go to this country. It's very difficult. You either have to go political or you go criminal. I mean, and this is not good for the country. So talking about human capital development, we want to see for, what exactly it means. For, for basically, in this case, you know, they get this target of SDG, Sustainable Development Goal Target 4, where they want for reach. And according to this paper, the bumper harvest where they talk about simply, and they talk about the... Um, the money where they give another 22%, not even sufficient for this quality education because they get for need teacher, they get for need school infrastructure, and then they, they, they see what they call lack of policy. All of this quality not even there into RAM yet, but then they try for put more investment into the education. And this now, um, one of the most important thing, according to the paper, one of the most important thing where the government they try for make sure say they put in place so that they will keep for raise the, the the more resources for support this particular ambition way for meet SDG four. You're right, you're right, you're right. So it is very possible that sometimes when they say we don't dedicate twenty two percent to the Ministry of Education or to us education, that twenty two percent, much of it is going away to private pockets. So, which means at the end of the day, the desired, if the desired effects could be very difficult to create. So, that's the problem. Much of it, I am sure, even the school feeding project, if they investigate the school feeding project, I am sure much of the money, whether they, whether they assign towards the school feeding, it they go into a private, private pocket. Who is there to investigate it? Can we trust the SEC to investigate that? No, we can't trust the SEC to investigate that. So I don't know if I like that, you know, people have the leverage to do whatever they want to do and they are getting away with it. So at the end of the day, the effect which will be catered in the education sector can be very difficult. So effective monitoring, make sure you follow the money and make sure the money creates the desired effect or impact. Otherwise, you are just spoiling our money. All right. One very important thing I want to touch on, this guy for do the lives of every Israel union, they say President Bill receives new securitized passport. Um, yes, this is a new passport where they don't be gimmick. But as we talk so right now, because passport na $100, so now passport don't go $1,850,000. What this going mean for the average salon person? Wow. Well, um, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because um, in the passport arrangements, they pay them at dollar. When, when they sign the deal with the company where they produce the passports, not in lieus, mm -hmm. not in dollars. Mm -hmm. So which means any time the dollar go up, the price of passports, they go up automatically. Mm -hmm. That is the fact. So I am not surprised. So it was a bad arrangement. It was a bad arrangement that the agreement was signed in dollars. Yes, that was a bad arrangement that was supposed to have been reviewed. Interestingly, this passport arrangement begin from the last government. But this government now in opposition been grumbled about them with the intent that they will come and review the whole thing. But then self not able for change them at all, it still remain the same. So they don't get any excuse. I know it happened under the past regime and it was bad. When this government came, they tried to review the process and then all of a sudden, we don't hear about that again. They actually started the process. They started asking questions. Along the way, push. We don't hear nothing again about that. So I am not surprised that the price for passport is now 1800000 because it is pegged at the dollar and not the euros. So the review, what we think say the government for not review that arrangement there, now for make sure say they factor the euros and remove the dollar. Because if they be for pick up at one million euros for for instance, even if dollar go up, passport will still remain one million. But because they pick up at the dollar price, passport obviously will go up and the one where they manufacture them, they have the power to say we are not going to manufacture anything. 
And the government on its own cannot, cannot, because what is important for note is that initially, Thomas Delarue, when they print with passport stamp for years now, with a deal with the government directly. But the government, Thomas Delarue, will get issue with payment. So the Rabbit, they decide, Thomas Delarue say, well, they will decide for do business with Salon, but only through a private entity. And now that brings the Jamal Shalop inside. Thank you. So that is the reason when a private entity they can say they say they're not able to accept loans because they are paying in dollars to Thomas De La Rue. So if they are paying in dollars and then they are they are printing the passport here at the local currency, they will lose. So that is the reason when they then push and then when they when they come for camp. For, for sign the contract and they, they have the best lawyers and they can bribe their way anytime. So always they can get the loan deal for pass through successfully at the detriment of the states. Look, even the even the toll gates, even the toll gates, we get three toll gates there where they operate, mm -hmm. even though the road still there on a construction. In fact, the, 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 the construction side of the road has been abandoned by the Chinese people. But now, they are operating three toll gates where also don't increase the transportation rates. Mm -hmm. So now, when these governments come, they say, oh, we are going, if I do the campaign, Madame Bill say they are going to review the toll gate ar arrangement. When they come, they did nothing about it, nothing about it, my brother, can you imagine? I mean, can you imagine? He did nothing about it. So it's not a lie. Because he promised, he promised to review it. And he has failed to do so. In fact, when the man become president, as the man become president too, boom, then they invite him to China. Oh yes, he was invited to China. I think he was there for a whole week or so. Imagine you know, a newly elected president. The Chinese government, who still is the Chinese person, the campaign winner, Salonia. He don't get time for that self. He didn't he, he think for that self. You, you know, so as soon as he came back from I China, think as far as the, the, the Western me, world concerned, concerned, um, leaders then are African are just Aryan boys. Yeah, say that again. As far as the Western world concerned, leaders then are African are just Aryan boys for them. So they can call the way oh, well, they want. <laughs> you can say it. You can say it again. Because you and see the, the, the Western world they all get the ambassador where the they expect, but then they run the day-to-day -day affairs in any country within the but in your own case, when they get ambassadors there, when they get a uh, you know um chancery representative I am not there, but a target system. But a target system an alternative. Okay. The program na on we on Riyadh, na YouTube, and on Facebook. So look at this other story. This is very, very important. We don't see from where the um, this government can and don't they begin old media cocktail. You know, outside they can discuss different things them with the media. And right from that point, in my own opinion as a journalist, I begin to say, oh, something don't begin wrong. Now look at this page. This particular say Nightwatch say at his last presidential cocktail, Bio says goodbye to journalists. What did this school simply mean? Saying goodbye. Is it that it actually be tell goodbye, say you know we come back or what? Well <laughs> because um I listen to him, he say this na he say for my kind of power um uh, this na the fifth uh, engagement where they get with journalists them and uh, it will be the last one. That's what you talk. You know? So, so um, I no will say... This man, the contest uh, again for the next nah, election. <laughs> it contest for the next election. So, for let he say goodbye, for say he not get confidence in himself and in what he don't do for make the people elect him back? So, sometimes, I got director for talk and so. Because, 
because if me get for Carol for re-election, I know we'll tell and say this is going to be the last one. Right? Mm. Is it because it's going to be the last one because there's going to be election in June? I just said that. Me, I cannot put her in a better way. Mm -hmm. Say, I hope to meet with you again when you elected. <laughs> and as far as me concerned, the media cocktail, the media cocktail is not even relevant. Uh -huh. As far as me concerned. It's not even relevant. Why? Why not? The media cocktail, media cocktail, cocktail for, for, why, why I mean, relevant? no, because me not even this one. I'm for good day, but I, I decided not for go. I did not go. Why I not go? Yeah, why? Why you feel say you know you know that relevant? Well, because I received the, I, I received the invitation very late. Why have you said necessary? Yeah. Well, as far as me concerned, you know, honestly speaking, let that be someone that engaged me. You know, as far as me concerned, yes. As far as me concerned, you know, relevant. You know, relevant was. The only thing is that. The only thing I will say is that, uh, President Bill, he do not do so much for the media. That is clear. Because, for instance, the uh, the Lyle Law, when Alex Koma did the campaign, that time he was leader of the opposition. Mm -hmm. When he was campaigning, one of the campaign promises that, that when it can of power, you can repeal the 1965. All right. It talks when it can power, you can repeal the 1965 Public Order Act. He was in power for 11 years. He did not do it. He did not do it. Madame Bioroka, he has done it. Under on on Alex Kuma, sludge. Not going to receive any subvention. Now, Sludge is receiving subvention from government. Although some people have to say that's not a way for neutralize Sludge, but I believe say Sludge need that money there for the operation. I remember, time to come, for even pay Sludge rent in Campus State. Pass the go back to Makiwi, the go back to other people there, for parents. That's a disgrace. So, me, I believe, sir, that is a job well done by the president for push the issue of the media. I just hope, sir, Sludge could use the subvention when the government is sent to them. For, develop, for development of Sludge as organization. Sludge need we own secretariat. We need to come out on our rent. All right, I think we can draw down the curtain of this particular edition. We still get some challenge with regards this particular um, network. Well, um, we really hope for see uh, the approval of Justice Fisher today. So na parliament, so we go watch if at all we get any live um feed, then we can relay them for you, let you see how the approval, how the debate could talk for let the approve um justice Edgar Fisher. But in the meantime, we as well they try for see how best how best we go try for put things them in place for let we go able for get them for you. And whilst we go to get live coverage, we go see do ya with a lot of you know analysis lots of documents that we already don't get that we position for the use them for analyze things then we listen to it in parliament they talk and analyze how did they come up for you let you get to understand so um stay tuned if you not subscribed yet please consider for subscribe to the youtube channel and following on facebook yeah and please not forget for turn on the notification bell because now only when you turn the notification bell on when we come up with program automatically, you go able for get notification and be part of that particular show. There. So in the meantime, we'll wait for see waiting will come out out of parliament today. 
you know, as then they um ready for you know approve Justice Adrian Fisher way on the uh, take up critical decision them for the last one year without going through Parliament. Today, finally, Parliament for approval. We will wait for see how it will get for Talek now the House of Parliament. Well, um, oh, we, we we think say we the drop now the curtain of the show because um we don't lost we guest again. And uh, we just don't reach with time where we suppose for it. So we want for beg that we actually take we leave now. We we'll take we leave now. We will talk to the guests later. And uh, instead of you understand because of the network challenge. Well, I want for tell plenty thank you to we producer for this program well like Elias Saba. And same way to one for wish her happy birthday in advance the twenty one of this December will be in birthday the one for wish her happy birthday. And don't forget. Uh, that are just a day after where the channel in that day. So we get a challenge for it five thousand for it's five thousand dollars from now to the twenty. So if you want for support we by any means, please watch now the description box. You will see the um Zell or Cash App day. Or if you want, you can as well do MoneyGram, you know, or real transfer to the United States to Sister Admin. Now they're in charge of everything for this particular thing. We want to make sure say all of the things them you know the, the money we will raise go on one side so we will able to come back and tell you how much we raise who that and who that give them your money so one for tell you plenty plenty thank you remember oh, five thousand at the chat now the target where we run for raise for this from now to the 20th so we just get like um 12 more days to go well my name is the the freedom fighter until we meet again it's another beautiful edition of the program one for say god bless we country Israel. Leon, where we can call we are yeah, thanks to we guess what we don't get when a Theophilus Sa Benda we same way so don't they coordinate over 50 radio stations them in the country. Well, we don't talk about different things than the issue of Samoa Kamara where they say no get case with COI, the issue of justice in the official where they appear in a parliament today for approval. All of this don't be part of them. So stay tuned. We go as well come with the live relay for you from parliament for we see how it's like over there with justice in the official and the others the approval. Until we meet again, God bless we country Israel, where we call we are. Thanks for the like, thanks for the share, thanks for the view. This song come up from Madame Sidra to Aminata Kamara from the United States of America. It is dedicated this song to one of the biggest organizations in the world. We had. Yeah. <laughs> So la we all am fine, this now we had No can now we land, so la we all am fine We know they back kapu kapu, we had no mix bag bamu bamu We know they back kapu kapu, we had no mix bag bamu bamu Go tell the brother, sister, them say We had no camu We had now we all Tell them for we, tell them for me say We had no camu Respect to the one who will make we are team up strong, strong one. Especially to you, by Bure Kabla from the north. And to you, Shenge Pierre from the south. And me, Amina, happy birthday in advance to you, by Bure Kabla from the north. You celebrate it birthday January. Happy birthday in advance to you, Shenge Pierre from the south. You do celebrate it birthday December. This organization, the three years, December 2022. We will tell who members them all over the world, thank you. Yeah. We are 
Shine. 